Yo, what's going on, guys? Tony here from Learn Auto Body and Paint.com and Paradise Garage. Um, doing a quick YouTube live today on Auto Body Q and A. So, if you have any questions on Auto Body, this is the time to ask them. Whatever you got, we will cover it and help you out and help you get to the next level with this stuff. Um, let me see here, super quickly. So. While I'm, while we're waiting for some guys to hop on here, uh, if you could just type in the chat super quickly, if you can hear and see me, where you're tuning in from, and if you're a Learn Auto Body and Paint VIP member, type in VIP and where you're tuning in from and whatever questions you got on Auto Body. Um, I had an issue with my computer, so I had to restart it, blah, 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 and I'm a couple minutes late. But let me see here. I'm just trying to pull up some web web pages here so I can share some links with you guys. Um, before we get into the chat. Guys, if you can help me out and just let me know where you're tuning in from, that'll be excellent. Uh, okay. CDP Performance. What's going on, man? What's up? Peace out. What's up? What's up? Uh, Lifetime VIP. What's up? Gareth. How you doing, man? I got your your photos that you sent me on that project. It's looking awesome. Really, really nice uh, job that you did on that thing, man. <clears throat> Dan Swansky, loud and clear VIP. Thank you for the feedback. Uh, T. Corley, I can hear, hear you and see you from Little Rock, Arkansas. Loud and clear from Florida, Chicago, checking in. What's going on, guys? Hope all is well. Uh, just got a fresh little haircut and um, took a shower and I'm out here doing a quick YouTube live Q&A for you guys today on auto body and paint. Uh, for all you newbies just tuning in for the first time, if you want to type in the chat, type in newbie. And um, I'm going to pop some links here for all you new guys tuning in. You can go to learnautobodyandpaint.com uh, to get some free auto body and paint training and check out VIP if you want. Uh, if not, no issues. Um, I'm also doing a training on how you can start a e-commerce business. So if you guys are interested in a money-making opportunity type of business where you want to learn how to create a business and wealth online, check this program out called Ecom Domination. I take you step by step, show you, I pull back the curtains. Uh, show you the back end of some of the businesses that I have online. I show you how to make money online through e-commerce by uh, basically flipping products online, physical products, cheap physical products, uh, small physical products that are easy to store under your bed. You know, and you could start this type of business from your bedroom if you really wanted to and um, scale it to six figures and maybe even six, seven figures, depending on how seriously you, you take this. So uh, there are the links over there. And if you guys are looking for awesome spray guns, check out Zula.com. And uh, you can spray with the same spray guns that I use uh, when spray painting all of our projects and customer projects, whatever we do at Zula.com. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and um, get into the auto body and paint Q&A. We're going to do this for about 20 to 30 minutes today. Hopefully, I can answer um, as many questions as I can. Last week was a little slow uh, with people having questions, but hopefully, uh, we got some good Q&A today. Embrace Smith says, just fine. Loud and clear, San Diego. Thank you. Thank you for the feedback here. Uh, Wins Custom Automotive Finishing says, I started the flow coat yesterday on the driver's side, and it ran like hell. Uh, I guess I'll be going for a tack coat on the rest of it. <clears throat> It seems like you need to work on your flow coat um, and your distance to panel and speed and flow of your spray gun. Once you get that down, you should hardly have any runs, man. Um, you know, it's something that I think I don't think it's very hard to master. I mastered that early on in my painting career, I think because I was watching my dad paint for a long time before I even started painting. And, um, you know, as soon as I got into it, but like I said, by the time I was 17, I was painting for body shops. They were paying me to, just to go there, 100, 150 bucks to just go shoot a car, you know, take me an hour, hour and a half, and I'd make 150 bucks 
um, at 17 wasn't a bad thing, you know, do that a couple times a week. It, it helped me get by. Um, and the main thing is, is speed and flow. And guys, if you want to learn more about um, how to really lay on finishes without getting runs, sags, orange peel, you definitely want to check out um, radspaintformula.com. So I'm going to paste the link over here. It's an awesome free training, guys, like a five-day, six-day video. It's a five-day video training series, absolutely free. You're going to learn how to spray professional automotive finishes without getting orange peel, dry paint, sags, runs, and uh, tiger striping and all that stuff by these techniques uh, that I developed called the RADS paint formula um, that we break down every single day. And I think you're really, really going to like it. So it's a free training for anybody watching this video. Just go to radspaintformula.com. I pasted the link down below. <clears throat> and um, and yeah, so let's get back into the... So now is the time, guys. Any type of auto body and paint questions that you have, put them into the chat right now so we can help you out. Um, get your head clear on the steps that you need to take next on auto body um, so we can help you out there, right? If not, then we can talk about whatever you guys want to talk about. Crypto, stocks, um, auto body, making money online. I do it all. And this is my way of giving back every single week is to basically, you know, keep my foot on the ground uh, for the auto body guys because this is how I started my life. Um, 13, 14 years old, painting and restoring cars, um, well, motor, motorcycles and mopeds, and then moving on to cars when I was 15. And I made a, a good living out of it, you know, buying and selling cars for profit, um, restoring cars. And it's my passion. It's something that I know very well. Uh, I've been doing it for many years, 25 years now. And um, it's just it's just my grounding point in life, you know. And uh, it's my way of giving back and helping people um, get through it. You know, learn a new skill. You guys can make money with this skill. You guys can customize your own projects. You guys can feel the self-pride and joy out of turning a piece of crap into something very beautiful. You know, and I still get the joy of doing that myself. Um, so, yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. Gail says, checking in VIP member. What's going on? Embrace Smith, New York in the house. Um, also with my door, the shop said that having the door upside down would have made the metallics land differently. And I went to heavy. It doesn't seem right. That seems kind of weird what they're saying there. Uh, Chris Angel VIP. What's up, Tony? Is there a lot of competition with e-commerce? Um, I would say yes and no. I would say if you have the proper knowledge, the foundation, the know-how, how to, to go about it. You could really create blue oceans for yourself and uh, and kill it in e-commerce as I, as I am doing in a few different multiple niches. Um, some in the automotive, some in the surf. We sell surf leashes and surf gear online as well uh, because I'm here based in Hawaii, of course. Uh, if you want to learn more about e-commerce, I definitely recommend you to check out my one hour training here. Um, on e-com domination and I help people basically start up their own e-commerce businesses from scratch. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's the first time doing a flow coat, but I still haven't mastered the X20 because I'm normally using my GTI Pro, but still trying to use the X20 for the whole flow coat to get my skill up on it. I mean, the spray guns are pretty much the same. I wouldn't say there's a big difference between spray guns um, I like the atoms. I believe they they atomize very, very nicely when painting. Um, I think maybe you were just laying on too much paint if you were having issues with running. You know, you're either you were you were spraying too slow or you were too close to the panel. Uh, so, you know, you just need to work on your speed and flow and then your distance to panel. That's pretty much it. You know, when it comes to flow coating. <clears throat> Last week I tried Paradise Garage, LABA, but could not see the live broadcast and no email. <coughs> um, I'm not sure, Chris. I know we were having small technical issues with emails being sent out, but they're pretty much fixed now. So 
Uh, just remember, this is the time zone that we usually do our normal Q&A lives. All right. Um, 8 p.m. Eastern uh, Eastern time on Tuesdays. And if we change it, we will let you know. So, guys, any auto body Q&A, this is the time to ask it and um, and we will do it. Uh, it definitely throws the clear out. So I need to pick up the pace. So so, Gareth, as long as you know that, hey, the Atom X-20 maybe is laying it out a lot quicker and thicker. I mean, this gun has exceptional um, atomization, and it really puts the paint. The Atom X-20, X-2788, they really lay the, the, the clear on really nicely. I like it. Um, and if you feel like you need to pick up the pace on it, then just pick up the pace. Or you can kind of like, instead of six inches away, you might want to go seven inches away, you know, or instead of five inches away, you might want to be six inches away from your panel, you know, your gun tip to the panel. And guys, I explain this whole setup uh, on the Rad's Paint Formula step by step. So check it out, radspaintformula.com. You're going to be getting a five-day a video training series, absolutely free. It's a brand new training that I created recently, and I think you're going to love it. Uh, got a truck from upper body line up is peeling and some sanded. Would it be hard to blend? If you're going to be doing a, you know, a body line and, and blending and painting, it doesn't make sense to just to do that. You're better off to just do the whole panel. Okay. So if you're doing on a door and you're trying to work on an upper body line peeling, you're going to basically want to sand that out, feather it down toward the bottom, um, prime it, block it 400, and then just shoot the whole door. You know, if you're going to be doing any blending, you're going to be blending into the adjacent panels, the quarter panel or the fender. But I would definitely redo that door instead of blending the door. You know, if you have peeling issues like that. Uh, Tony, are you open to one on one consulting? I am if you are a customer of one of my products. So I don't know what you're talking about, auto body or crypto or the e-commerce stuff that I do. But if you're an e-commerce member, then I'd be open to one-on-one -on -one consulting. Absolutely. Um, and I've done that. And I currently still do that to guide e-com domination program. If this is if this is e-commerce related, uh, then yes, we could do one-on-one -on -one consultations if you want. No problem. We just have to set it up. Uh looks like an Iwata 400. What's a good PSI setting for it? Backyard builds, go to radspaintformula.com. Those are the ballpark areas of pressure settings and everything that you need to know is in that training series right there. Check it out. Definitely check it out. Um, hey, Tony, I have some new panels with the black finish. Uh, should I strip down to metal Rough up the finish and spray. Okay, so that's an uh, that's an e coat that you have there. It's a black primer e coat finish that comes factory on a lot of brand new panels that you buy. Okay, it's a good finish. It's a good foundational finish that you have there as a coating. What I normally do is sand it down with four hundred. You could even go a little rougher if you want three twenty. OK, and then I like to put you could actually paint on top of that. So if you're going to be painting a dark color, uh, blacks, um, gun metals, then you could literally sand that down, um, get it rough with 400 grit, block it out. You could put base coat and clear coat right on top of that. If you're going to be doing any other color, you can sand it, you can seal it and then paint over it. Um, or if you want, you can always lay a primer on it, a gray primer. Um, you know, a, a 2K filler primer reduced. So it's not really a filler primer. It's more of like just a prime coat. Uh, but make sure you sand it down first. You're going to have to get it down to like at least a 320 grit um, and then prime it, block it out 400 grit, and then you're ready for paint, whatever you want to do. Hopefully that helps, Dennis. Let me know if that helps. Uh, I'm running 27 pounds, quarter inch on the fan. And a quarter on the fan with full fluid. I don't know what you mean by quarter in. Oh, quarter in on the fan with full fluid. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Um, with clear coat, you're going to be spraying a 27, 28 PSI trigger pulled. All right. So trigger pulled. 
you're going to have your digital uh, or analog gauge hooked up here. I don't have one on here. And then you're going to make sure that it's reading 27 pounds trigger pulled um, for your clear coat. Base coats, I like to go 24, 25 pounds pretty much. Uh, this is the Atom Blue Moon, Atom X88 Blue Moon. Great for base coat, clear coats, and even you know primers if you want to reduce them down. You can spray. This gun comes with a 1.3 and a 1.4 tip size so in the box so you got you know the most popular the most used tip sizes uh, that come in the box with the blue moon and the infinity the infinity the only difference is the the color combination i have the infinity actually let me show that guy let me show that to you guys so here is the x88 uh infinity infinity just the color difference with these two guns they're both atom x88s um okay uh dennis hopefully that answered your question um showing off says can different custom paint bands brands be used for a paint job tamco uh yes you can you could mix and match paint brands um as long as you're mixing base coats and clear coats, okay? Uh, like, I wouldn't use a Tamco reducer. I mean, you could. It's basically the same stuff, realistically. But a Tamco reducer with a PPG base coat. I mean, normally when you're buying it, you're buying it as, as a kit anyway. If you're buying base coat from PPG, you're going to be getting the, the reducer. But, hey, maybe sometimes you're going to be low on a reducer and you're going to have some nascent reducer or a house of color reducer. It will work, okay? It works across the board, okay? Normally what people do is have a different brand base coat. Maybe they'll do a PPG base coat clear coat, you know, PBG base coat, and then they'll have a higher end house of color clear coat on top of it. No problems. You're not going to have any issues at all because they're all, you know, urethane clear coats, polyurethane clear coats. You're not going to have an issue. So don't worry about it. Okay. You can use Tamco clears on a DuPont base coat. You can use Tamco clears on a PPG base coat or on a, uh, sh you know, shop line PPG, whatever. It doesn't matter, you know, um, and that's normal. Like I like to use PPG base coats mainly. Those are my my go to base coats that I use Dextron um, or I'll go with the uh, the cheaper Omni. And um, I can use you could use any type of clear coat you want on top of it. So that's no problem. Hopefully that answers your question there. Um, having trouble with single stage acrylic urethane, getting too much orange peel. Any tips? Yes, backyard builds. My tips are make sure your mixing ratios are on point. If you're getting orange peel, you may want to add a little additional reducer. OK, I don't know what type of hardener you're using with that. But normally on a complete paint job, you want to be using a slow hardener, a slow activator, because you want your paint to flow out after you lay it down. All right. Um, and the other thing is go to radspaintformula.com, guys. I made this training and I want your feedback. I've been getting amazing feedback, but I want your feedback as well. So go to Rad's Paint Formula, sign up. Go through the five-day training and reply to the email, okay? I get hundreds of emails a day, but I scan through it. When somebody submits a, an awesome feedback or whatever, hey, Tony, I read them. So reply back to me and let me know how you like the training, please. This is all, like, I'm doing all I can to give you guys all the knowledge I have in here for 25 years. All I ask is for some feedback. Let me know what you think. Like if I need to improve upon it or whatever. So far, I've gotten amazing feedback, um, but I would like more. Keep keep coming back to me, guys. I love the interaction. Uh, okay, are you guys liking this so far? Is this helping? Let me know. Again, give me feedback. <laughs> oh, man, it's been rainy here, guys. It's been rainy here for the past couple of weeks and uh, cloudy overcast. And my brother's in town from New York, and we're, I've been spending some time with those guys. 
But um, anyway, give me some feedback, dudes. Um, I, I'll have a play today with it as I'm painting the hardtop on the tray today. Awesome. Yo, yo, what's up, Tony? Still got to get my civic pictures to you, but I've been making tables and coffee tables on the side for people over the years. You think I could sell them online or are they too big? Um, I think you can sell them online locally. You know, you can advertise on IG, Facebook, Craigslist, you know, uh, you know, some of the apps. What are, what are the, some of the other apps? Offer up. You know, things like that. But shipping them, I don't know, man. They might be a little too big um, for shipping. You know, unless they, they have such high value, unless they're so unique that you can package them and you can, you know, put them in a box and and, and, and send them over across the states, you know. Uh, T. Corley says, is flow coding worth it? Does it make that much of a big difference? Yes and no. Um, sometimes people flow coat because they need it. You know, sometimes they got orange peel. They want to block it out, sand it out, get it flat again, and then flow coat it. Um, normally if you got two coats of clear on it and it looks like glass, there's really no sense of a flow coat. Um, if you're doing candy paint jobs, custom candy work, and you know, that has some flake in it or pearl and you're going to be putting this car in a, in a, in a show or something, and you really want it, then, then yeah, flow coat it because it's going to give you more depth. Okay. Putting an extra two coats of flow coat clear on it is going to give you more depth to that candy paint job or over the pearls or flake that you did. It'll make it look deeper. That's the, you know, main idea for flow coat for custom jobs like that, or, to fix some orange peel work on a, on a complete paint job, or, you know, it could be some panels. Um, so yeah. Is there a big difference between primer sealers and regular primer? Not a big difference. Um, not really a big difference. Okay. There are sealers and we cover all of this in learn auto body VIP. There are primers that, you know, sometimes you just want to seal something. There are sealers that you just want to seal and then not have to worry about sanding before you put your base coat on. And that's why I like the Nason. Uh, write this down, guys. The Nason 1K sealer. It's a great sealer to use before painting. Um, you know, when you're doing body work and you got your 2K, 2K filler primer, a 2K primer is a great foundation to paint directly over. Single stage or base coat clear coat. But sometimes during the the wet sanding or the final dry sta sanding stage you're going to get you're going to cut through to metal or you're going to cut through to some body filler any of you guys have that happen it happens to me and um you know one and the the idea is you never to to be proper you never want to paint over a i think this is my bro Um, you never want to paint over body filler or metal, although you can, you could get away with it and you could do it. I've done it. Um, so you could, the couple things that you could do is get a rattle can one K primer and just kind of cover it quickly and then do your base coat clear coat on top of it. It's really not the best way, but that's a way to do it. You could mix up some 2K filler primer again, and then you can spray it, let that dry, wet sand it again, making sure that you don't cut through, and then paint it. Or you can cheat and use this 1K uh, sealer by Nason. Okay, other brands have it, but I like the Nason brand. It's easy to use. You just mix it out of the can, strain it, put it in your cup, and you're ready to spray. Um, and then you basically just hit those areas and then you're you're done. You let that flash dry for 15 minutes, and then you can shoot your base coat right on top of that. Done. Uh, so that's the difference with a sealer. And some custom paint jobs, you know, sometimes sometimes you're gonna want to spend the extra money and the extra time and put a sealer on the whole complete car before you do your base coat. All right, base coats lay on really nice over a sealer. Okay, I'm not saying that it doesn't lay on nice over a 2K primer that's sanded and prepped up and ready to be painted over. Um, 
it's just a little different. You know, if you want to go high end and if you want to get the most perfect job or whatever, you got the budget, you got the extra hour because you're going to be spraying sealer now, um, then you do it. Uh, best way to thin auto body filler. I don't know. I've never had to thin body filler. I'm either using body filler or glaze. Um, usually you don't thin it. You just, that's it. You know, I would say if you want to get a thin body filler, a creamy body filler, go with uh, Evercoat Rage is a good creamy body filler that's that lays on really nice and creamy. Is this helping, guys? You guys liking this? We're going to answer a couple more questions. I'm just going to kind of um, kind of like come up here and, and get uh, – is there a difference between primers? I answered that. Okay. Will I have to get a new and bigger compressor when I move house? Because the pressure does flutter when the compressor does kick on. Um, maybe. I'm not sure. I don't know what setup you have right now, Gareth. Um, if you want to email me separately. But normally, if you have a 60-gallon tank with a 3.5 to 5 horsepower motor on that sucker... It means you're pumping enough CFM, um, you know, anywhere from 14 to 18 CFM at, you know, 40 pounds, more than enough, 40 PSI, more than enough air pressure, because you're not spraying with 40 pounds of pressure, guys. You're spraying with 25 to 28, basically. So if you see CFM ratings, you know, that say, hey, we're going to we're going to promise you. 15 CFM at 40 pounds, which is kind of good. It's a pretty high pressure compressor. That's great because you don't even need that much. You're going to be using half that. Well, 25 basically, you know. Uh, okay. Bobby Nelson, I spray painted my truck bed today and I used nascent base coat. And it orange peeled because it finally down. I was scared to death. I'm not sure what you meant by that. Orange peeled? And it orange peeled, but it finally laid down. So, guys, normally when spraying base coat, sometimes it will lay on like it has an orange peely texture. But you let it dry and it flows out smooth. Okay? As long as it's stros- as long as you're mixing your base coats correctly, normally base coats are one-to-one. So you got, you know, eight ounces of base coat. Eight ounces of reducer. Okay. Sometimes you're going to want to add a little cap cap full or two of reducer just to thin it out just a little bit. So you make sure you flow it on really nicely. And guys, I cover that in the RADS paint formula. My haircut. <laughs> um, so guys, don't forget to go to the radspaintformula.com. Loving it. Hate it when I miss the live. Have you ever cleared over single stage for depth or should you just stay with base and clear? You can actually clear over single stage, no problem, anytime you want after the paint job. You could absolutely do it. It's actually good because it gives you more protection. It gives that paint, it makes it last longer, more durable. You know, single stage is bare. It's just, it's basically, um, you know, paint with clear coat in it. That's what single stage is. You know, you got clear coat in it and it lasts a while. But if you put clear coat on top of it, it'll last longer. You know, clear coat is a very a good sealer. Uh, a final, you know, a final sealer over your over a paint job. You already went. That was quick. Are we doing are we doing the burgers tonight? Okay. Um, perfect and completely understand. Going to be painting a Pontiac brazen orange. Should I use orange tinted primer or stick with gray? Not sure what, what color the factory used painting on a 66 GTO. Man, I had a 66 GTO that I picked up when I was 17 for 3,500 bucks. I painted it tangerine orange from a, a Dodge Prowler tangerine orange. Uh, I put silver mini flake in it. And I flipped it in two weeks for 8500 bucks. I should have kept that car. But that's what I did when I was 17. I still have pictures of that thing. Um, I would stick with a light gray primer. 
You don't have to worry about tinting it. No problem. Stick with a light gray primer, light gray to medium gray primer, and you will cover in two coats. I guarantee it. If you're doing what I've done my car, then definitely due to having decals with the paint and I need to bury so I can't feel it. What are your thoughts on UV primer? Hey, my thoughts are great. You know, a lot of clear coats already have UV in it. So if you want to have, if you want to use a UV primer, then why not use it? It can't hurt. Okay. It can't hurt. Um, okay, guys, we're going a little over time today. So before we close out the last couple of questions, I'm going to just pop out some links here. If you guys are looking for awesome spray guns, the same spray guns that I use, check out Zula.com. Um, I love the Atom X27. The Atom X88, if you're a beginner, you're looking to get into painting, check out the Atom X20 spray gun. All great spray guns, all guns at Atom, um, all Atom spray guns at Zula come with the GunBud Ultra Lighting System. So you could basically literally paint in, in the dark if you want, because this thing will light up your, your paint job as you spray. Works amazing. And uh, they give it to you for free when you purchase a gun at Zula.com. I'm going to drop the link again, guys, if you want to learn how to build an online business that makes six figures per year, five figures per year, my e-commerce stores generate uh, a nice, healthy six-figure income streams for me, um, then check out this training that I did. It's a one-hour training that I basically open the doors on my online businesses and I show you how to basically start and copy and build and exactly what I'm doing. I coach you through how to build your own e-commerce business online. Uh, you can check that out at Ecom Domination. I think I got the link right over here for you, uh, right over there. Okay. Um, and then the last one was the Rad's Paint Formula, guys. Get this training and send me some feedback. I want to know what you think of this training series here. All right. So I got a couple more questions. No problem, Dennis. You're very welcome. Harold, you're very welcome. Bobby, I'm, I'm glad that worked out for you. Um, I have two compressors hooked up together and yeah, that could be 80 liter and 40 liter. It could be part of your problem. You know, I'm not sure how much CFM your compressors are actually putting out. Have you ever used Kovac sandpaper? It's expensive, but it's awesome. Uh, Cletus Bloom, that's all I use. Kovacs actually supplies me with sandpaper, and that's all I use. They got great sandpapers. If you look in my VIP videos over the past couple of years, it's all Kovacs. Um, I met with some of the guys in Japan when I was there a couple of years ago. They actually came down and, and met me um, where I was staying in Japan. Pretty cool. And they gave me a big box of sandpaper. They mailed me some here couple of months ago um yeah Kovacs is, is an excellent brand all right guys thank you for tuning in everybody we're going to be back next week same time about 30 minutes of auto body q a thank you for tuning in um if you want to get that training like i said check out radspaintformula.com down below you can also check out learn auto body and paint.com and uh, guys, don't forget to hit the like button if you uh, haven't yet. And I'll see you guys on next week, man. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you next week. And uh, thank you. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, everybody on here. Have a great week. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you next week, man. Keep on pumping, guys. Peace. Rads is rad. Peace.